Technical students, I greet you once again. I want to teach you development today. I call it development. What do I call it? Development means building on what has been drawn. In your English, when you say you're developing an area, that means the area was already existing or your structure was already existing. So also in block or shape, we have a technical drawing. So when you say to develop, it means you have it already on ground. Like the prison, the pyramid we have known how to draw now. Then we want to work on that. That is what we mean by the development of that particular object or a block or a shape. Let us look at the objectives for today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define development Stay the types of development and then draw the development of prison, pyramid, cylinder, and so many others. These are things we want to look at for or look at in the course of today's lesson. Then development means simply means, like I told you, building on what has been on ground. That is, draw the shape of that object having all the surfaces laid out flat in one particular plane. If you radiate lines, you draw it flat in one particular plane. The development bends along certain line. That is a curve, just like we have in terms of a pyramid, uh, involute cycle when we're dealing with locus. That line, that curvature gives you, forms the shape of that particular object. That's what we mean. Then let us look at how we do that. These are the types of development. Types. One, the parallel line development. The, there are things or lines Faint or uh, light lines, you call the fold lines. They are the ones through which also you do construction. They are the ones through which you get the objects that you are drawing. They do not mean they are parallel to each other in parallel line development. That is what you are saying here. These lines are parallel to each other. They do not mean every fold lines parallel. The another one is the radial line development. In radial line development, all the objects, all the lines start from a particular point, then they scatter. They begin to diverge from that particular uh, place. So that is what we call the radial line development. Like you are saying here, these are converging points. Then all of them, they, they verge to this side. See that these are the fold lines that scatter, that go out from one particular plane, uh, uh, point. Then the last one is the triangulation development. That is the radial or fold lines, they form, the fold lines form a form of triangle. That is this one at the middle. Here, here, you see a triangle. Here, here, you see a triangle. See the fold lines? Here, here, see a triangle. This is a triangle, triangle, triangle. This is a triangle, two at the middle. So they form a kind of triangle. And that is what we call the uh, triangulation development. Then how do we draw all these objects to develop them? That is what we want to look at. Let us look at some examples. To draw the development of the, of a, the first term of a prison, we are starting with prison now. One, you project lines from the elevation to obtain height of that particular side. That is number one. Number two, you mark one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and six to one from the plane. That is the step we need. We get this, if you just look at like I always tell you, don't be confused when you see things like this. You will understand when the uh, drawing starts. This is a hexagon. And that means the prison we want to draw is a hexagonal prison. I use two centimeter here. That's not the dimension. Two centimeter. That is from here to here. I am the one that constructed this prison now. If you have sorry, uh, the prison, hexagonal prison to be drawn, have this prison now. You want to develop it. You first of all take the lines off from here. That is what we want to see now. This one, a plane is drawn here. To draw the prison now, I want to go on. This is the hexagon. You remember it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So the prison we are drawing and developing is hexagonal prison. You draw a distance from here to here. This one has no measurement. I don't want that uh, determines it. Then you take a horizontal line. From here now, you will now start your work to be done. After that, you project lines. This is the plain uh, ground that you drew before. That was the mark, point of mark. You use a C square at 90, then your T square lapping, you project line from this edge up, from here up, from here up, from here up. They meet this particular one here. 
Then from this point they met here, you also continue the projection, take them up, 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 up. That is what has been done here. The perpendiculars are taken, are drawn. After that, you now mark off what you want on the perpendicular. That is the height that we have talked about of the object. This is height I used for here. This one is not negotiable. It is from here to here. That gives you this base here. Then from here to here, I use four centimeters. That's 40 mm. Then I use two here to the shortest, to shortest height, two. Then you join here to here. You now make this line to touch here. Make this line to touch here. That is what has been gotten out. That is the prison, he said. Having drawn the prison, you project lines to the right. Reject lines, horizontal lines to the right to be able to get your development. That is the next thing you do. Why do you do that? From this bottom here, you take a light line going here. From this point here, you take a light line going here. All these things are done with the use, by the use of your uh, T square. That's take the horizontal line there. From here also, you take a horizontal line here. From this point, you take a horizontal line. From this point, you also take a horizontal line. You'll be projecting the horizontal lines to the right, to the right. That is from each top, each top, each top, you project horizontal lines to the right. It is from this side now you will get what you want to draw. That is the development you are talking about. That has been taken to this side. Then you mark off a point here, distance from here. These are the lines we rejected to the right. Mark off a distance here, call it one. You remember we used to see them here. I used two, two, so two CM give you two, two CM give you three. 2CM4, 2CM5, 2CM6, and 2CM1. You also divide this side, you take the vertical or perpendicular lines too. Anywhere point one meet line one here, yeah, this is the first line. Anywhere line one meet line one, put a dot. Line two meet line two, you put a dot. Line three meet line three, you put a dot. Then line four meet line four, you put a dot. You also do it to this side. That is the next thing we will be looking at now. These are things that are related to what we have done in your uh, uh, your cycloid, that is your locus. You see these points are marked, I've talked about. Line one meeting line one, line two meet line two, line three meet line three, line four meet line four. You also do it to this side. You dot the point or the meeting point, you dot them so that you know how to draw. You now use your French curve to take the curve. That is, you join those points together. You have gotten the development. This is the development of the prison. This side now, you see where I wrote it there, this is the development of the prison. Another example I will still give to you is development of a pyramid. We have looked at prison now. Let us also look at pyramid. You remember prison does not have apex, but pyramid has what you call apex. Do you remember what is called apex? All right, and I told you how to get the apex, whether rectangular or triangular, and to get the apex using the 60 degrees set uh, square. With apex A, when I say apex now, you don't need to ask me, as a center and radius of the slant height. You know when you have the apex, where the lines compare, you also have slant side, and that radius, that is the length of the slant side now, draw arc. Then step of course, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to one, like we've done in the other one. You always do that. Then you join these points to the apex. This make these things we are talking about. One to two, two to three, join all of them to the apex. You radiate them to the apex. Then you get your prison done. I'm sorry, your pyramid uh, developed. Let us look at the steps two, as we have done in the case of a uh, prison. This is stage one. You have the hexagon. We are dealing with hexagonal pyramid now. This is the hexagon. Then, you know how we do this, how we get this? After this, you take this, the plane now, the plane line. That's where we want to start to your development. You now reject lines from each of the corners. Don't forget, that is the next thing we need to have. Reject lines from each of the corners. That is, from here, you reject line. Meeting here and going up. Coming here, meeting here and going up. Come here, meeting here, and going up. Then come here, meeting here, and going up. You reject lines. These are perpendicular lines. You take them up. Then you now take your measurement too. But this time around, you are going to turn your set square here at 60, turn your set square here, because we are dealing with the 
We're going to have the apex. That is what you have seen here. This thing is taken off. This thing is taken from here, it's taken off. The meeting point here, point here gives you the apex. Apex is produced there. Once you get the apex, then from here, you draw a line to meet the apex here. From here, also draw a line to meet it. That is, you have gotten your pyramid drawn. I've gotten your pyramid drawn. That is what you have here. You have drawn your pyramid. Then you project lines to the right. You could do it to the left, but since I've used right for you, follow the right also as examples. Project lines to the right now, as you normally do. This time, even if you do not project line to the right, there is a way we do this. That is what I want to show you in the case of pyramid now. You know, in prison, we projected lines, then we now draw the, we got the prison drawn, development at the right hand side. But this time, we're not drawing the development at the right hand side. If you want to project lines now, you will see that, you will see that it's different from what you have drawn, because then you had the six lines that were got in here were also projected to this side, and so made you to get the point, meeting points there. But this time around, you only have two lines here. That is this one, and this one. It cannot produce for you at the right hand side. So what next you have is, from the steps I've given to you, use the radius, this is the apex, radius of the slant side, that is here to here. This is slant side, here to here. Use your compass, put it here and adjust it to here. Then you draw an arc, curving and meeting here. The arc will just curve, a light arc. That is the next stage we will look at, a very light arc. It will curve and meet at that particular point. That is the arc you are seeing here. Arc is produced here. You just start from, the, with this radius, this arc was drawn. You get it meeting here. Then, you will have now said, uh, draw or mark one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and six to one. The way you have these numbers as the hexagon, you also need to divide here. Since I use two here as the length, you can see 20 mm here, it's 20. So I also measure two centimeter on the, for the comp uh, compass, radius of the compass, then put it here, you cut, you call it one. Put it here, you cut, cut it two, three, four, five, six, you cut them round. That is, you divide that arc that you are saying there. Dividing the arc will now give you the points you are talking about, one, two, three, four. You can see them there, point one, two, three, four, five, and six. These points, what next you need to do is to join them to the apex, each of them. Point six, join, point five, join, point four, join, point three, join, Point two join, point one join, all of them to the apex. This is the apex, you know. So draw a light line, light line, light line. So all of them, you draw light lines. That is what we mean by that. You draw light lines, it will give you this. You can see the figure that I have drawn. This is light line from here to here to here. That is from this point, you reject lines to meet the apex, meet the apex. You are almost done with the development. The last thing, the final thing you need to do now is, you remember this curve? That's what we say, the line that is drawn, the, the, the curve down, this you the shape. That's what we say. This curve is different from straight line. Point one to, point five to six, this dot, you dot this place, you dot this place, you use your ruler to join them together. That's point five to point six. Make it bold. You now have a line, a line, a line, a line, a line. Point five to four, you also make it bold. Draw a straight line. From point four to three, draw a straight line. From three to two, draw a straight line. From two to one, draw a straight line. One to B, you draw a straight line or zero. Draw a straight line. So you begin to have it. Remember the light, the arc that you drew was light. And then the radiated lines were also light. These bold ones you want to see gives you the final thing that you need that produces the development. You can see it there. This produces the development. So you can see six to five mid board, five to four mid board, four to three mid board, uh, three to two mid board, two to one mid board, and one to zero mid board. That's the only board line you can see. All of that is, even the curve, you may not even see it again. It is light on that. So this is the development of the pyramid. Pyramid here has to be developed. I always tell you that whenever you are watching my video, especially on technical drawing, keep your instruments close to yourself. 
All these things you are seeing, they are not by magic. You must do the lay your hands on them and get them well. We have said in our work today that development means drawing all these lines lay flat in one particular plane. And we said a line curve. This line produces the development of the object that we are looking for. We have also said we can develop the prison, the pyramid, the cylinder, and so many others. We have looked at how to develop a prison and how to also develop a pyramid today. In our subsequent classes, we'll also be looking at that. And we have looked at the steps following how to do all this development. While you are doing drawing, like I keep advising you, we have problem, just note it down quickly, private chat me. I will give you the solution so that I can, I know little place can stop you. I will not know how to get the remaining ones again. I pray that God will keep watching over us. Till you watch the next video, remember Lex, I am still your technical drawing teacher, Mr. Albert. Thank you very much. God bless you.